Hello everyone, it's Inia here. Today I'm gonna be using my color pencils on dark cardstock to create a card with the cute slot from Hanging Their Stamp Set by Long Fawn. So I have got some blue jay, blue jay cardstock here and I'm gonna be using my Misty to stamp my image and keep my stamp in this exact position to use it again later. So I'm stamping the little slot using dye ink and I'm making sure to not apply ink to the end of the branch because I'm gonna be coloring it like a larger branch. With the help of my Misty, uh, I can stamp it again to get a nice and crisp impression. Next, I'm stamping some leaves all around the branch using a small acrylic block. I love that these little leaves come in separated stamps so I can customize my scene every time. So for my coloring, I'm gonna be using my Prismacolor color pencils and I'm going to start working on the leaves. I'm starting with the lightest color and then I go with my middle color to finish with my darkest one. I want this to be a night scene so the colors shouldn't be super bright. My little sloth is hanging there on his branch illuminated only by the moonlight so I'm doing my coloring like the light source is coming from the top of my card so I apply my darkest colors on the bottom of my image because these parts would be covered by shadows. So I'm basically going with my lightest color to my darkest one and then I'm working out my lightest color to do some blending. I'm using a blending pencil as well to help me blend in the colors beautifully. I'm not using the Gamsol solution this time because it blends the colors with the card base and they won't look so bright and won't do a great coverage of the base color. I love how color pencils look on dark cardstock. This is my first time doing this but I'm definitely going to do this again because I'm really loving the results. For his face I'm using very light colors and I'm hiding the stamped lines so it's not possible to see his face anymore. I know it seems that I ruined the image, but please believe me, I'll fix this later. to color his fur on a grayish tone but it seems like my pencil set doesn't include grays so I'm mixing some browns with black and I ended up loving the final look so don't forget to mix what you have to get me awesome colors. that the branch looks like it's floating in the air so I'm using a black marker to draw 
it a bit larger and I'm coloring it like it's larger than you can actually see. I think that this messy and unfinished color lines help even this look to the scene. So here's my scene all colored and now I'm going to stamp it again so we can see this lost little face. And this is why I didn't remove the stamp from my Misty before. So this way I can stamp it in the same exact position as the first time. I'm using Stay Zone ink because it stamps wonderfully on any surface, but my ink pad is very dry, so I needed to stamp it several times until I was happy. Even then, I used a black marker so the eyes and mouth really pop out again. Also, I forgot to mention before that having a little piece of the same cardstock that you are using for your coloring to do some color test is super useful. So I'm going ahead and work on my sentiment and I'm gonna be using Bannertastic and Greasing Through Life stamp sets and I'm stamping the banner and sentiment using black dye ink and white cardstock. Using two acrylic blocks to bend my sentiment a bit and make it fit into the banner. I'm coloring my banner using Prismacolor pencils as well and I'm trying to give an old storybook feeling to it because I think it will look charming with my scene. I love this sentiment for this love image to create a fun little pun but also as an encouraging message. I'm using the Gamsol solution this time to blend my colors into the white background. So I cut the banner using my scissors and before I add it to my card, I'm going to use a black marker all around the edge of my banner and this will give it a more finished look. I'm gonna be using a stitch square die to die cut my panel and add some texture to it since the scene is all one layer and for that reason I'm using some black foam adhesive squares to pop up my sentiments as well. As a final touch, I decided to add some little wooden stars to my card and I adhered them using liquid glue and my tweezers to help me placing them properly. Then I decided to add some more stars to the background using my white Prismacolor pencil and I really love how the white pencil stands out on dark color cardstock. Okay, so at that moment I changed my mind and decided that I wanted to apply some black sooth distressing to my background to add more depth and interest to the scene. So I had to remove all those little details and I was lucky because I didn't ruin my card. Because it happens sometimes. So I'm using my blending tool and applying ink very softly all around the edge of the panel. And I think this really helps uh, creating the look of a night scene. When I was finally happy with my background, I put back all the little elements and now I'm starting mounting my panel on a card base. So I'm gonna be using this stars pattern paper from the pin size patterns collection and I'm going to adhere it with double sided adhesive tape to the card base and finally I'm gonna be applying foam adhesive squares to the back of my panel to adhere it on top of the card. And it's done! I hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you so much for joining me today and have a great day, bye! Oh, 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 oh,